We've got eight hours to cook this pork belly and this beef ribs. I've got to start these beef ribs first. These things are big, and they're going to take a lot longer to cook than this pork belly. And the beef ribs that we've given our pit masters today, it's up on the back, it's up high, but it's, it's really close to the prime rib. A lot of fat in there. They've got a, a really tough membrane on there that's hard to get off. You get that off, you can get your flavor in there better. You know, Craig, he's got to be good. Johnny Trigg, we all know he's the best. So today, I've got to bring my A game to beat these two guys. Iron Mix, and I sure hope you're here to help me, big dog. What are y'all doing, Corey? I don't have a clue, man. But I wonder what would happen, Myron, if we cut them in single bones and cook them like that. That's a big old single. Man, I hope you're hungry. Like you got a whole lot of whittling to do right here. You be careful. All right, brother. Everybody's probably gonna cook these things whole. I'm thinking that the amount of time that we have, I need to single these ribs out, and hopefully they'll cook a lot faster. When I'm doing it, I'm not gonna single bone them up, which isn't a bad idea to do it. I mean, it cook faster single them, but I think you can get a better beef rib by cooking the whole rack. I've never cooked beef ribs before, but I know how to cook beef, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm putting a little oil on. Tried and true sweet heat. The rub that I use on that has a good pepper flavor. It also has a little garlic, red pepper, a little sugar. I'm cooking my beef ribs like I cook a brisket because I win with my brisket. Tender as a baby's butt. We're gonna show them. We can cook them. Yeah, we're not going sweet on them. We're going Texas style. I'm gonna just leave it taste like beef. Some uh, pepper, uh, some garlic. To beat Johnny, I gotta make sure that I can adapt and overcome, I think, traditional Texas-style barbecue, and that's what Mo will like and the judges will like. There's something ironic here to me. You got Johnny Trigg from Alvarado, Texas, bringing in some sweetness. On the other side, with Craig Kimmel, he's come from Florida, which is notorious sweet barbecue, and he is staying away from sugar. He's saying it's doing Texas style. I'm telling you, that might not work out because you know you have to cook and understand what that's all about. You know, for me, I, I love eating beef ribs, and when I cook them, man, I'll have the pit set like a 210. I'll let them cook for eight to 10 hours, depending on the size, and I walk away. The key for these pit masters today in this short period of time is to get that fat rendered out and produce a, a juicy, tender rib. The worst thing our pit masters today could do with these beef ribs is undercook them. 